All right, my friends. So in the last section, yeah, I gave you a code quiz. So in this section, we're going to see the solution. So we'll start by calculating the average scores and then assign the results to variables. So var grade Alex is equal to, and we have the point, so inside parenthesis 80, plus 90 plus 95 divided by 3. Then var grade Sarah is equal to 89 plus 76 plus 98 divided by 3 again. And for last one, I'll say var grade Nancy is equal to 42 plus 98 plus 83 divided by 3. Now, I simply log these to the console. So here I'm going to say console.log Alex average grade and then a comma and grade Alex. And here we see a new thing in the console.log. There's a string statement and then our variable. You follow? So in the console, we're going to see first a string and then a comma and our variable's value. Cool, cool. So we use this method so that we can, uh, well, it's just easier to read our variable's values in the console, to be honest. Okay, so to see the result, let's save this and go to our console. Here I can refresh the page, and yeah, as you see, first is our string statement and then the value of our variable. Okay, so now let's return to our code. So down here, I'm going to make the same thing happen as well. I'll say console.log and Sarah average grade comma grade Sarah. Save this, go to console. Here we see Sarah's average grade in the console as well. And lastly, I'll say console.log, Nancy average grade, grade Nancy, back in console. So as you can see, here we see all the averages. And we see here that Alex has the highest average. All right. So going back to the code. Now, what we're going to do here is, of course, an if-else statement. So we'll give it some space here. And now if grade Alex is greater than grade Sarah, and at the same time, so I'll say and grade Alex is greater than grade Nancy. Well, then log to the console that Alex has the highest grade and comma grade Alex. All right, so did you follow that? So we did that because in order to be able to say that Alex has the highest average, Alex's average must be higher than Sarah and Nancy's both. All right, and else if. If it's the other way around, basically. So grade Sarah is greater than grade Alex, and grade Sarah is greater than grade Nancy. Then console.log, and here I just copy this statement and paste it here, and I can change this. Sarah has the highest average and average Sarah. All right, you with me? Okay, then we're going to say the same thing for Nancy as well. So I'll say grade Nancy is greater than grade Alex, and grade Nancy is greater than grade Sarah. So I'll paste the same statement as well, and I can change this to Nancy. And then else. Okay, so that's the situation where there is a draw. So, let's test it out. Save this and go to console. And yeah, Alex has the highest grade. And then after that, we see grade Alex variables value. You get it? You follow? You with me? All right. 
So that, my friends, is it. In this video, we saw our code quizzes solution. So go back and familiarize yourself with something if you missed it. But uh, otherwise, I'm going to pause it right here and we'll continue in the next section. See you then.